What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to day 11 of Vibesmas. And today we're going on a vacation. Or more specifically, we're going on a camping trip. Now as of patch 7.3, Behavior and Dead by Daylight introduced the anti-camping mechanic, which will make it so it's harder to face camp survivors. But this mechanic is still not as effective when in one particular part of the map the basement and i wondered even with the new camping mechanic feature in the game who is the best camping killer for the basement now obviously bubba has reigned supreme over this feature and a play style since his inception into dead by daylight but i've wondered is there anyone who can compete with him now as the basement's best camper and we came down to two other options the obvious one besides Bubba is the Trapper, with his ability to lock down the doors, the window, and trap almost every spot on the stairs and in the basement, making escape incredibly challenging. And when it comes to traps, Hag is no slouch herself, being able to place her traps anywhere around the shack to teleport and get quick hits and keep people in the basement. So we're going to have a game with each of these three killers to see who does the best when it comes to camping out the basement. Now across the board, a lot of these perks are going to be the same. For Bubba, we have Agitation. When we're carrying a survivor, we will be moving 18% faster with an increased tear radius of 12 meters. We'll have Iron Grasp, which makes it so the struggling survivors will have a time increase of 12% to break free. And then it wouldn't be a Bubba without Insidious. So when we stand still for two seconds, we become undetectable and we don't have a terror radius to ambush and catch survivors off guard. And finally, we have Noed. So if these survivors do manage to get all five gens done and don't come for the save, well, we're gonna be taking at least one more with us by inflicting the exposed status and moving at 4% faster speeds. For Trapper, we still have our Agitation and our Iron Grass, but we also have Save the Best for Last. So every time we hit a successful attack that is not to our obsession, we will gain a 5% decrease to our cooldown, up to 8 tokens. But we'll lose 2 anytime we hit the obsession. And then we'll also be bringing Scourge Hook Monstrous Shrine. Now this will make four random hooks into Scourge Hooks, but Monster Shrine also turns the basement into Scourge Hooks. And anytime we hook someone on a Scourge Hook, well, they will be progressing through their sacrifice 20% faster as long as we are not within 24 meters. And to make locking down the basement even easier, we have the Trapper Sack. So we will have all of our traps at the beginning of the game and the makeshift wrap so that we cannot be caught in our own bear traps. So we'll be able to just step through any traps that might be in our way when carrying a survivor. And then for the hag, she has pretty much the same build as Bubba, but to give us a little bit more pressure, we're gonna run deadlock. So that anytime they complete a gen, the gen with the most progress after it will be blocked off for 30 seconds. We'll also be bringing the waterlogged shoe. We won't be able to teleport, which makes the basement hack so fearsome, but we have another ability with this. Because any survivors in the trigger zone of the waterlogged shoe traps will be hindered by 9%, and our own speed will be increased by 7.5 for running this add-on. And then I initially had the wrong add-on, but we have the bloodied mud, which will increase the trigger range of the traps by 30%, making it a larger space that these survivors will be hindered by us and our shoe add-on. Now we have three killers all competing for the title of best basement camper. Who's going to come out on top? And I thought about bringing a map offering, but the basement would change between main building or shack, or depending on if we brought McMillan, there's five different maps. So it's going into RNG to see what maps these guys get, who can get in the basement, and who does it best. Let's get to these games and find out who runs the basement. All right. Survivors brought a map offering. We are on the Cold Wind Farm, kicking it off with Bubba. He's the defending champ, so it only makes sense that he goes first. We should have checked. Is basement here, or is that going to be over in Maine? All right, we have a... 
Shack basement. We do love to see it. And we have a Meg. I don't think she's making it to basement, though. Now, let's not get greedy, and we'll put her on this hook. Alright, that's her spot. And they have their first gen done. Alright, let's go Insidious here. We get Kate right as Meg gets freed. Kate is in the basement. Now, to avoid the anti-camp, we just kind of hang out here. And we see who comes in. Okay, I don't know how we didn't hit anyone there. That is incredible that that just happened. We failed to follow through on the chainsaw and the Meg. We didn't even hit a uh, endurance on Kate. Well, Meg, time to come and die, you know? You had a good run. Ah, she makes window. Meg. You're gonna go back to that window, aren't you? It's okay, Meg. It's okay. Another moment where she's too far away, we don't make basement with her. And they unhooked immediately. Wow. I was not expecting the immediate unhook. She gets two free vaults because we weren't in chase. We say so long to Meg. Yeah, the other three gens are all in pretty good spots. Well, hello, Claudie. Nice sprint burst. Let's see if she knows her timing. She does not. But she's also far enough away that we are not getting her to basement. Now this gen, last time we looked at it, right before we found Claudie, was at zero. Which means both survivors have to be here. There goes Ada. They didn't go back on that gen, which is good. All right, we we stare through the corn. Well, they got the last gen. Bonk.
Oh, Claudie, what's your plan? The plan is to go splat, I see. Here you go. And toss her in the basement. Overall, I'd say 4K good. Bubba's camping could... It's taking a hit from the uh, camping mechanic. Let's check out the trapper. Alright, we are in on Batum 3. Trapper definitely got an unlucky map. But we're going to have them in the basement at the school. So this could be an interesting way for the game to go. As long as we find someone to get them relatively soon. And we whiff. And they get a stun. There we go. No, stay around here. Stay around here. Alright, we've got to force her back into the school. Oh, I didn't even see this pallet. What, what are we stuck on? Wow, she got so much distance from us getting stuck on whatever that was. Super unlucky. She runs through. Ah, oh, she will not let me keep her at the school. House of Pain. A pallet. A vault. Yep, I'll say she's a big fan of dropping every pallet. I'll say I think we just have to bloodlust this. It's kind of our only choice. There we go. Uh, who's over here? Now, there is no way we make it to the school basement, which is unfortunate. So we leave her here. That gets popped in my face. I looked at my phone for literally a second and didn't see Claudette come in for the save. Gen number three. Take the hit on Claudette so we get the extra stack, but uh, she's running away from the school. No, nope. Let's back it up. Throw it in reverse. We're not going in reverse. We're actually still running further from the school. Okay. Over the fence. Once again, this just seems like a bloodlust situation. Because bottom pallets are so good. I don't think there's a single bad pallet on this map. Hi, Nick Cage. Wasn't expecting to see him there. And we grab Claudie. Kate stepped in the trap. Let's go grab her. Ah, oh, she broke free. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, Claudie, I don't know where you think you were going. But I promise it's back in the basement. Reset here. Trap the stairs. Alright, Claudie's out. Well, someone was here. They are no longer. We kicked that. They are down to a gen, so let's trap a exit gate. We'll trap this gen. Oh, well, there's a Nick Cage here. I feel like that should have been a hit. I kind of got robbed. Oh, well. Where, where are we going, Nick? To Shack. Okay. Did not mean to set a trap there. We will do one here, though. All right, Nick Cage, the holding W hero. He makes the fence into this pallet that Aiden never used. Back to the fence. Indicates adrenaline. Did he have one himself? All right, this has got to go. Wait, he did that? He went over the trap? I feel like we placed that in front of it. He has another pallet here. It's finally over, Mr. Cage. Oh, Kate's not even going to give him a chance to Kobe. Nick Cage is just done. You know, for having to play this on Battle, not too bad. Not the 4K that Bubba had, but definitely a better camping and more basement-oriented game. Hag, you're up. All right, and for the final one, we are on the Groaning Storehouse. And would you believe it, once again, Survivors brought a map offering. I don't know what it is. Survivors just really, really love map offerings. Let's break that door, and let's go hunt down anyone. Kate has calm spirit. Okay. We'll place that there. She didn't seem too hindered. God pilot goes here, right? No. All right, Kate. Need you to, to chill. There we go. Let's yeah, let's get closer to the basement. Okay, we actually got her. We got partially robbed, but we still got her in the end. Okay, you come with me. You can hang out here. Let's get our trail of traps. Oh. 
Who's over here? Is she Kobe? We didn't even get to finish setting up our trail of traps. It's okay, we try again. Okay. Back here. And we get our traps up. That could have been the anti-camp mechanic, now that I think about it. Oh, this thing's like 99. Let's, uh, take care of that. Uh-oh. 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 We take Nick Cage. Let's slap Fang. Just leave him here and reset the trail. Oh, no ed time. She goes. Oh, oh, tap. Oh, tap. Oh, we do love some good no ed value. Tap went to be a hero and paid the price. And you, you're coming with me. Alright, so for efficiency, Hag got everyone killed in the basement. Was able to camp out Nick Cage and Kate. But no ed got the other two. So when it comes down to it, of our three contestants... I think it's safe to say Trapper might be the new king of the basement. But what do you guys think after what you've seen? GG's.